Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day. I welcome you once again to Beauty for Ashes today. Hallelujah. God is good and all the time our God is good. Praise the Lord. I'm so sorry we couldn't come online the previous week, but thank God we are here now. And I know that the Lord is blessing you through this word today in Jesus name. I want to thank God for another opportunity to reach out to you today. And I want to thank God for the opportunity has also given you to watch me in this short sharing again today. Today, I want to just encourage you once more that for you to have beauty for ashes, you must be ready to dare the impossible. I mean, I say dare the impossible. You see, sometimes life comes to us hard brings impossibilities and things that seems unachievable but you see if you are not courageous enough to dare it you can't have beauty you can't have progress you can't have testimonies i love this beautiful example in the book of exodus chapter 2 from verse 1 to 3. here was a very wicked king who made a decree that every male child be murdered be drowned. Can you imagine somebody carrying a pregnancy for nine months, delivering the child, and then you go and throw the child in the Nile? Oh my God, that was a wicked decree. But you see, sometimes life is that wicked. When this woman gave back to this baby, according to the scriptures, when he gave back to that baby, he saw that there was something special about the baby. So she said, no, I'm not going to kill this baby. And she hid the baby. <laughs> she dared the impossible. I mean, Pharaoh then was a god. Whatever he says is final. You dare not go against him. But you see, the Bible says, both of them, the husband and the wife, they decided to brave the king's decree. And they said, no, we are not going to kill this child. Listen to me. Get ready to dare the impossible in this time and age. Because things will happen to you that will make you want to kill your dream. Kill what you have buffed. Kill what you labor to bring forth. Just allow it to drown. Just allow it to go down the drain. No. No. You must dare the impossible. You must be ready to say, look, this one, it's in my hand. I will not allow it to die. Like I said the other day, nothing dies in your hands. This woman hid this baby. How can you hide a baby for like three months without anybody knowing? <laughs> It was, it was a serious Holy Spirit conspiracy. And after three months, when she saw that, look, I can't continue to keep this baby in this house, she had to change strategy. She took the baby right where the daughter of Pharaoh will see the baby. My goodness, she did the impossible. She said, look, I know that this baby will not die. I know that this baby is meant to live. There's something special about this, this baby. Listen to me. There is something special about your life. There's something special about what you are trying to achieve. There's something special about the dream that the Holy Spirit is giving you to bath. So, dare the impossible by hiding it and making sure that it thrives in your hands. She said, look, I'm going to take that baby to where Pharaoh will see that baby. And when the daughter of Pharaoh saw the baby, the daughter of Pharaoh was moved with compassion. You see, when you take a step daring the impossible, lions will fall in pleasant places for you. I dare to tell you that. God has a way of making things to work for people who are ready to work with him by faith. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 23 that it was by faith that they hid that baby called Moses and by faith they took that baby where, you know, the baby will be sent. And of course, the person that made the decree, the killer became the deliverer of the baby. Hallelujah. Do you know that the special thing about this baby called Moses is that he was meant to be the deliverer of the Jews of the Hebrew. Meanwhile, Pharaoh wanted him dead. But because the mother and the father did the impossible, he got the miracle. And Moses became a blessing to the whole nation of Israel. 
to all the Hebrews. He became their deliverer. I've come to challenge you today. That thing in your heart, that dream, that desire, that work of your hand, your own self that you have bathed by travail, dare not to let it die. Dare not to allow any decree, any situation or any circumstance take it from you. Nurse it, hold it, keep it, push it on, and God will back you up. And before you know it, you will achieve something great that will bless the whole of humanity in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't forget, put it in your spirit, dare the impossible, and then you have beauty for ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. Please feel free to email me. I thank God for the people that are emailing and sending their testimonies. You too, feel free to email me. And I'll be glad to read your testimony. If you have any challenge, please feel free to email me. Two are better than one. We can talk about it and we can pray together. And then you have testimonies. God bless you until I come your way again. Amen. Amen.